And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion of the world, Davison Donaguerra Figueredo! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Rob Fox! You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Wide early portions of the round here. A lot of different focuses for Davis and Figueroa. Certainly has every skill in terms of the wrestling and the grappling and the striking. But cardio management, maintaining a pace over 15 to 25 minutes, that was a big focus for Davis and Figueroa here during this fight week. Look at the turtles in that kick. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output. When his opponent is done at two, he is bringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, back and forth we go. All right, so there it is from the kickboxer. He told us he was going to go to that front kick early, and he did not miss with that one. He didn't miss. He went to the front kick, expect him to keep going here, because this is not only damaging, but it keeps him at the range at which that he wants to fight. He lands the front kick to the body. Now, nice work on the feet by Font. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. All right now, they separate. Another combination here really starting to get into the striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. And the front kick there by Figueroa. up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Put him with the jab. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Oh, oh man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Oh, this could just about do it. So, one hundred minutes to go here in what has been a competitive and action packed first round. Oh, separation the clinch. So, he's really starting to put together some significant. The crowd continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. What a fight. Again, shoots for a takedown, not there once again. Figueroa's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so Jarzinho Rosenstrike versus Alistair Overeem, it is not. But let us look back at some of the replays from that round because there's a cut on the lip now that he's got to deal with. Long as I never got to see nothing like that again in my entire life, I'm okay calling fights. And this cut is not that, but it was the perfect shot that landed in the right Ready. spot that opened up Ready. that cut on the lip. All right, so we will see if the cut man can do anything about that and for the fighter try to raise his guard and be more sound defensively in this next round. Oh, that's a good strike there by Figueroa. Push kick there to the body. Figueroa's strike attempt there is blocked. Back and forth we go here. Lands 
another strike upstairs. And for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swing. He can't miss it. And when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that. And while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. Outside leg kick. Just over three minutes to go. Now he's starting to find his groove with the counter strikes. This is his bread and butter to keep his opponent at bay and keep him guessing. And when his opponent over engages, make him pay with a straight right hand, straight left, or a jab. Nicely done with the hands there. You buy the ticket to see fights like this. What a fight. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Oh, another one. Feels like the beginning of the end. Oh my goodness! Back to the feet now. Oh! Davis and Big Red goes in for the takedown now, and he's able to get it. Beautiful entry there, and a wise move given how things were playing out on the feet. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing it. Landed a nasty flying knee to the head. Big knee to the body. Game of inches right there, there boy. Wow. It was good night at that landed. Oh! Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Hashtag swollen. His face is starting to close, my man. It looks really bad. I mean, early in the fight, we talked about addressing things right now. He didn't do that. And now it seems as though he's going to pay for it. All right, back to the stool. And he is officially swole. And I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many Ready. big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. And now some separation. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Back to his feet. Holds up. Oh, big knee! It lands a nice one, too. Under three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. It's a constant exercise of risk mitigation, right? That it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. Oh! 
with authority the body. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Good night if that landed. Back and forth we go. These two were intent to make a good fight. Just shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Let's get to the official decision here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 22 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Rob All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.